Hey, welcome to Cat Bug's Hands and Kitchen. Hey, let me tell you what I've got today. Today we're going to be making some boudin balls. And for those of you that can get boudin and you have leftover boudin after a big Saturday night or a Friday night or a big party night or whatever, you got a bunch of boudin left, uh, make some boudin balls. So let me tell you, you can make them, you can freeze them, you can take them to the, to the tailgate party for the football game to watch the Saints or whoever your team is. That's good stuff. All right, today. All right. I'm going to do things a little different. I got boudin balls, but I'm going to do some stuffed boudin balls. Here we go. I'm going to be stuffing them with some hog skins. And that's just some little cracklings. You know, you can buy these little hog skins at the store if you don't have no fresh ones at home. Got some pepper jack cheese. Good old pepper jack cheese. And that's by a local. That's by Barden Company. They make good, good pepper jack cheese. We'll be stuffing it with that. And I got some jalapeno peppers right here. They pickle jalapenos. That's going to go in there also. And I'm going to touch it all up with a little Tabasco pepper. Dried, crushed Tabasco peppers. And it's going to be rolled. And then when I roll it, it's going to be rolled up in this breadcrumbs. That's the Italian style. I use this for about everything that I anything i mean if i do additives or whatever this is the baby to use right there so here we go we're gonna start off with our boudin balls this is some leftover boudin first thing i want to do is separate my link all right now let me get that little spark out of the way get out of the way boy go over here where you belong all right, now I'm going to give a little slit down here because I want to cut that little casing off. And they're just a little hog casing. Yeah, boy, those of you who don't know what boudin is made out of, that's some hog casing. That's what it's stuffed into. All right, and this is what it is, regular old boudin. It's all left over. First thing I want to do is go ahead and kind of make it like a hamburger, you know? kind of flatten that little patty out because I got some things to do. The first one I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put some hog skin in there. A little cracking. I mean, why not? I'm going to stuff that rascal. Now that I got it in there, I'm going to try to cup it up. Then you got to press it, press it, press it. And make it good just press it. You want to keep out, make sure there's no cracks in it. Don't want no cracks. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it tight. Don't want no cracks in it. Squeeze it tight. Look at that, how round and pretty, okay? Now, we'll run that through. Go little breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs, baby. Look at that go. And I'm just going to put it aside. It's beautiful. Now what I'm going to do though, before I fry that, I fry it at 325 degrees. And I only fry in peanut oil. So I'm going to put it aside right here. Now that's going to, after I'm done, that's going to go in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I want it to kind of harden up a little bit, get a little hard. Then you take it out and let it all get settled and everything. Then you deep fry it at 325, you don't want nothing to burn. Well, about five minutes, but I'm going to show you that after a while. All right, let's get another one going here. Got a crackling one? Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to do a jalapeno one right now. I got a fork. Yeah, got that. look at that fork. Boy, I knew I had that fork for some reason. That fork's usually in the way. Go ahead, baby. Get on up there. Yeah. Oh, yes. You don't want to make one as big as a great big old softball, you know, they're too big. Because you, you want to make sure they fry good. Now you want to make sure you press them tight, get all the cracks out of it, just like I said. 
getting the cracks out of it. Got a little piece of jalapeno looking at me. I'm going to cover that sucker with boudin. All right. And I'm going to coat it. Look at this baby right here. Damn. I amazed myself. Let's do the next one with pepper jack. Cut me a couple of pieces, of, a few pieces of pepper jack here. I like pepper jack cheese. Yeah, and that boudin is working. Very pliable. That's the word I'm looking for. It's pliable. All right, you got that cheese in there. Pepper Jack cheese, this is by the Barton Company. Look at that, I'm rolling that thing up. Putting it right in. Make some room so y'all can see what's going on. Got some more boudin. What am I gonna do with this one here now? Now this one here, got three good ones. Now I'm gonna put some Tabasco, dried crushed Tabasco pepper in here. Mix it up in my little Italian seasoning. So now we got some Italian and a little Cajun mixed up right there. This one here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, put me another block of that pepper jack. But that pepper jack don't have nothing to do. I mean, it can't even shine a light on that Tabasco. Oh God, that's beautiful. Go ahead, boy. Do your thing. Now, those of you that can't get no boudin, you know there's plenty of companies on the internet that sell boudin. You know, from Louisiana, some good old Cajun boudin. All right, I'm gonna make two uh, two regular boudin balls. Oh yeah, I think so. Just some regular boys. I don't want no cracks in this. I want to fry it. I want no misses. No mistake. Boy, that, I can see that crushed Tabasco pepper hanging on. Hang on, baby. So I got six boudin balls out of one pound of boudin. And you know what? I'm satisfied with that. Oh, it's soaking up into that Tabasco. Ooh. Them dried, crushed Tabasco peppers is hot now. And when I fry it, deep fry it is, it's going to be a little warm. But you know, that's what I love is warm. All right, that's it. Now look here. I'm going to take all this. I'm going to put this in the fridge for 30 minutes, and I'll be back after a while. We're going to fry us up some new damn balls, baby. Stuffed and unstuffed. Hot damn. Whoa, take it easy, old chef. See you at the wild. And it's been 30 minutes, and here I go. I'm going to start frying these babies up. I got peanut oil at 325 degrees. And you say, well, why do you put it at 325? Because I don't want to burn it. And I don't want to put more than three in there at one time. And you don't let this go more than five minutes at a time. Period, because you know when it starts getting golden brown, you can whisk it out of there, but I'm gonna let it settle a little bit. That's only been in there about 30 seconds. Alright, first one's ready. And you know, none of these are marked. So, you know, like I said, this leftover boudin, going to the football game, nobody cares after two or three of my cold ones what's what's in there. They just want a boot damn ball. If it's stuffed, fine. If it's not stuffed, then I worry. Anyway, I'm gonna fry these up. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, baby. Take it easy. Hot 